We arrived yesterday from Bristol Airport to Lanzarote and overall it took around four hours. The flight was a little bit turbulent. Four hour journey went really, really quickly. I managed to sleep most of it to be honest with you, so that would be why. This is our first time going away at this time of year. So I just thought I'd bring you guys along because it's a new experience for me and I just never believed that this sort of time of year that these countries are still beaming hot. And honestly, it is so warm here. The weather is actually unbelievable it's 26 degrees and it's super hot we literally got burnt within an hour it was that strong it was so nice for some reason we just didn't believe it was going to be as hot as it was so we didn't really prepare our suitcases for that i know the weather said 25 degrees in preparation for going on holiday but just being around in like one degrees or zero degrees back in bristol in the uk it was like really difficult to really comprehend having that heat, if that makes sense. So yeah, the G7X I'm using is on the blink of dying. For some reason, the screen behind it that kind of flips up isn't staying up. So yeah, hopefully it survives the holiday and doesn't completely break on me, but we will see. So this is where I'm staying, guys. It's Vital Class Lanzarote Sports and Wellness Resort. So yeah, this is basically our apartment for a couple of days. It is really nice, relaxing open space there's just loads of room to kind of chill out we've got a little dining area here and as we go outside we've got a lovely little table area and then as you can see we've got the pool and then over there is the dining area which we're going to be going over there very shortly for some breakfast and as we go down here we've got a lovely little kitchen area so preparation for any food and snacks we've got a little fridge in here which we've got some drinks in from last night in the shop and this one's pretty cool so it's really on point with the hotel theme it's like a dumbbell sport spa drink which i've never seen in my life but it looks really really cool three euros so yeah i thought i'd give that a go a bit of energy and then as we look over here this is the view from the kitchen if i pull it the right way so yeah this is the view from the kitchen and it's basically like a walkway so we've got to keep this blind closed if we want actual privacy because at any point people would just be wandering around so yeah and as we step through here obviously we've got the bedroom area we've got two single beds together well i would say they're quite like a small double they're quite big um really really comfortable to sleep in i had the best sleep last night it was obviously quite warm don't get me wrong but we've got this fan up here that definitely goes a long way just to help kind of cool the room down um we've got this dressing table here which is really nice and obviously we just got a view from this window of the balcony patio area so yeah and then over here we've got some wardrobes and then as we go through here we have got the bathroom so yeah we've got a nice little shower area um but the one thing again um just to pick at stuff once you have this window open as people can walk by outside they can probably look in so we're just keeping that closed because well, no one wants to see that, do they? So, a really nice size apartment for a couple of days. Can't go wrong with that. Got everything you need for a nice relaxing holiday. So basically the plan is now is obviously to go and get some breakfast from the restaurant area. We are all inclusive, which we haven't done in years. I just thought we'd treat ourselves to a nice all inclusive holiday. So yeah, we're gonna head off to breakfast now and I'll show you guys around. So this is the outside area of our little apartment. As you can see over here, we've got some nice like, I don't know if they're volcanoes or just like, mounds and pretty desolate around this area but yeah not gonna complain but yeah this is the view from the side and the beach is just over here so hopefully at some point today we're gonna head down there and check it out so like i said what you can see from our room this bit here is the main restaurant where you get all your breakfast lunch and dinner and then this bit here is the pool bar where you get your drinks and snacks from the day the snacks aren't actually included with the um like all inclusive you've got to pay a pound for the ice cream crisps and stuff but all the drinks definitely are but yeah look at the pool area it's so nice like all these apartments literally if you go through here around there it just links up all to the same sort of areas so We have just finished having our breakfast. We are now going to have a little wander down to the main area, Costa Tigus. Um, we just have a little check out of what it looks like, see what's around, check the beach out because it looks really nice on the pictures that I've seen so far. And yeah, just before the sun gets too warm, we just thought we'd have a little wander now, come back and then sit by the pool for a couple of hours. I cannot wait for that because it's been absolute years since I've done something like that. So yeah, even when we went to Croatia early in the year, it wasn't hot enough to be able to do that. It was quite windy. So the fact that we can just sit here and have pure sun is just yeah so nice there's not a cloud in the sky
So it is currently half past nine in the morning and it's absolutely scorching. So if you're looking for a winter escape, if you're from the UK or a cold country, definitely come here because it is so warm and just a great way to top up your vitamin D and get some sun in your life because if you're anything like me, I get a little bit down in the dumps at this time of year. So yeah, I definitely recommend coming to one of the Canary Islands and experiencing heat at this time of year. I've never done it before. I've never been away at this time of year, like I said earlier, and it's just such a nice, refreshing feeling. And you definitely get your money's worth in terms of like, even though we get the same amount of sunlight at this time of year because it is winter, you definitely get your day's worth in heat. So yeah, even though the days are still short at this time of year, you're still going to get a great experience and a great holiday out of it. So yeah, highly recommend. We have now made it to the main beach area of Costa Tegus. Again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyways, um, the beach here is absolutely massive. It's a really, really big area. Got a few shops around it. Got some ice cream stores. That is no regular seagull, bruv. What the hell are they? What's the crack, bro? There's a little pussycat. Hello. So there's a couple of shops around here, so we're just going to check those out. This is one of the few things that are actually decorated in Christmas decorations, which is quite cute. A few little boutiques and stuff in here. We've just picked up these mega ice creams from the supermarket. This one is the Hyperdino, they're everywhere here. And this one was 2 90 it's not too bad. Picked up the sun hat as well because it is absolutely roasting. Um, again, take a shot for every time I say that, but yeah, it is very warm, so don't want to get my head scolded. We have just started somewhere over here, walked all the way down along here to the main area. We're here at the main one. We're here. All oh, right, that's quick. So we've gone all the way here, around, all the way down here, and then heading back to the hotel. So yeah. Good evening guys, it's been a nice long day exploring Costa Tegus, 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 something like that and sitting around a pool doing absolutely nothing. We actually went in the pool today which was really nice and only one of them is actually like heated and even though the sun is out, the water in the other two were absolutely freezing. We actually found out today that between three and five, which is like the times where they're not serving main food. They actually have some snacks going on, like burgers, chips, pizza, teas, coffees, some cakes that are left over from the buffet from lunchtime. Um, so we actually had a bit of that as well during our little relaxation time around the pool. But yeah, we are basically heading off now for our evening meal. It is currently, let me have a look at the time. It is 20 past eight and they actually do two different evening meal times. You can go either half six till eight or half eight till 10, I think it is. But yeah, we are basically heading out for the evening now and then possibly whatever entertainment's going on. morning guys today is monday it's our third day on holiday and we are heading off to arisef which is the main area capital of lanzarote we're going to get a bus hopefully it's basically the main uh, cruise port area so when you come here on a cruise if you do it is basically that area when you get off that boat and also the airport is literally around five ten minutes away from that as well the hotel here is quite local to so all of that sort of stuff. It's a very great position to kind of get around the island with like transport and stuff. So yeah, the bus stop is around seven to eight minutes walk. Um, so we're gonna go there. Hopefully it's not too expensive on a bus. I'm thinking around three to five euros, hopefully each way at most. And then later on, we're heading to the spa. Uh, we've both booked in for a massage, so I cannot wait for that. I've never had a massage in my life. So really looking forward to that. So yeah, we're heading out early in the morning again, just so that we're beating that hot sun. Yeah, let's head off to the bus stop and head off to Arisef. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Arisefi or Arisef, I think it's Arisefi. Let me know. So 
it literally took around 15 minutes by bus from where we were staying to um, Arecife in Lanzarote which wasn't too bad at all they dropped us off at the bus station and it was only three euros for both of us for a single which is really really affordable so yeah we are basically just gonna have a little explore around we are right by the beach which looks really nice so yeah this is the beach look how golden the sand looks it looks really nice um, you would just not think for a second that it's December here it literally feels like June to me when people at home have been messaging about Christmas stuff and like people are going to like the Christmas markets it's like unbelievable like that this is going on here this heat this weather this situation and then back at home it's like full winter I don't know it's, it's, it's weird and, yeah it's just weird to kind of get your head around if that makes sense but yeah I suppose I haven't really traveled at this time of year before so I've just never really experienced this but yeah even having like a sun hat on and sunglasses and just yeah I'm really appreciating it it's like really nice very grateful that we can do these sort of things in the world so yeah just a completely different climate completely different situation to back at home and I am all here for it just five to ten minutes walk away from the bus stop you find ourselves at this like harborside port area and as you look around here in the background you've got these mountain volcano views which I think is just yeah incredible you've got a few shops and cafes along here yeah you can kind of go for a little swim down there and the beach is just around that corner bit as well so yeah they've got everything going on here they have started putting up the Christmas decorations in Lanzarote which is really cute you've got the donkeys you've got Mary and Joseph you've got the little baby in the crib how cute and then over here you've got the three wise men that is the cutest little bus I've ever seen just over there there's some kind of fort so I'm just trying to figure out what it is you can actually walk over there by the look of it there's like a little walkway and it is called Castillo de San Gabriel um, and it's just over there which is quite cool <laughs> Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Whee! So we are currently walking along like the back streets area of Arecife because we have got the cruise port at the back which I'm assuming the whole area around here is kind of like a dock um like industrial sort of area so we're just currently walking back to the centre now we're going to go to one of the shopping malls because we saw it on the way here it looks absolutely massive so we're going to go and check that out get in some shade because we've been in the sun for a good couple of hours now so yeah that'd be quite fun to just have a little look around there and see what sort of shops are there compared to back at home but yeah this is what we're currently um walking through at the moment like i said it's quite like far out from the main areas and stuff like it's like people's accommodation and like housing area look how cool this car is though there are so many old vintage cars here i love it i thought that was bananas but josh says they're peas there might be a massive green beans or something like that they look really cool so we're just heading into the shopping center now as you can see it's absolutely massive um there's so much inside here there's even like a trampoline park here so yeah might even try Spanish McDonald's as well. Wow, it is massive. Bloody hell. 